Hey guys, this is Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we are finally going to learn how to play Sweet Child of Mine exactly like Slash plays it. Now before I do that, please subscribe to the channel and ring that little notification bell so you'll know when I release a new video. And please check out my Guitar Academy, the link is in the description. And also check out my new merchandise store. It's got a lot of cool designs that I'm adding to it almost every week. Uh, they're really fun designs and only available in my merchandise store. So please check them out. All right, so I originally did a series of lessons on Sweet Child of Mine on YouTube about almost 10 years ago. It's been a long time ago. Um, now since then, now most of that video is still very accurate, it's great, and most of the parts, all the rhythm guitar parts and stuff. Uh, and but as time has gone along, we have uh, seen many more videos of performances of this from Slash being uploaded to YouTube as, you know, now that's allowed somehow. And uh, so we have a lot more visual evidence of the exact way he played the solo, um, like the exact position, because as we know on guitar, there's a lot of ways to play the same note. So, um, so I decided to reshoot this because when I performed this as an instrumental track a couple of, uh, you know, like last year or whatever, people were like, after I had seen the visual evidence of how he played it, people asked me to reshoot the solo for this. So I am doing that now. And I'm also actually in the original tuning now. I know the original Sweet Child of Mine lessons, I did them in standard just to make it easy for people uh, that didn't have a guitar. They could, you know, retune down a half step. Um, but... Some people loved it, some people hated it. So now I'm going to be in the actual tuning that Slash is in. And I'm also obviously painting on a Strat. I know he doesn't play with a Strat. Guitar's a guitar though, so let's just deal with it. All right, so let's start here with this first phrase of the solo. Here we go. <laughs> So, uh, by the way, if you guys don't know what E-flat tuning is, the notes are in the description. You should probably know that if you're going to be playing this solo. Though. So, uh, now, that's a bend of uh, starting with a neck pick on, Bob, neck pick up, uh, on, by the way, into the whole set bend of the 17th fret. Release. And then he plays 15, 14. Let me turn that delay off to make it a little bit easier. Uh, 15, 14. And then you're going to hammer back on the 15, pull off to 14, and slide down to 12. So we have this. All right. And then now we're going to go. So that's 15, 14. Then hammer back to 15, pull off to 14, pull off to 12, slide down to 11. So all together. All right, so when we get to that 11, then we go back 12, 14 on the high E. Now he does a pre-bend, whole step pre-bend at the 15th fret on the B string, and then you release that bend. So down to 12 on the B, and then a bend and release of the 14th fret, whole step. So we just... Then you get a hammer 11 to 12 on the G, and then down to 9 on uh, the G string. So all together, this whole phrase. Now the second phrase. All right, so as you're holding this nine here on the, the last note in the first phrase, you're gonna go. So that's 11, 12 on the G, then 10, 13, uh, 12 on the B. So then you're going to do one of those little uh, legato things again. You're going to hammer 13, pull off to 12, pull off to 10 on the B. Just so it is. 
All right, then a big whole step bend there at the uh, 13th fret there. Then play the 13 without a bend. And then down to 12. Just play that a couple times. And then a little half step bend and release at the 12. Then down to uh, 10 there on the B. And then up to that 15th fret uh, on the high E string. Got a whole step bend and release. So we have this. All right, uh, we're getting to the good stuff here. It's coming up, it's coming up, the quick run. So um, first we have this section still in the neck pickup. So that is going to be down here at the seventh fret there on the B string. And that's a little half step bend and release. You're going to want to play with your index finger. Over to the ninth fret on the G, you're going to play that note twice. And put some nice vibrato on it. The Slash's vibrato is incredible. So it's like. And then do that again. And then we're gonna do a little bit tricky here. You want, you're gonna bend into that note. From, so a half step bend um, from the eighth fret on the G string. So we this. And then release. Pick that eight. Slide up to 11. And then pick 11. So we this. All right, then back to the uh, little half step bend and release at the seven. And then over to nine and just play that once. And then shift down here and go five, four, five, and slide back to that nine. So that's on the G string as well. So, so we have this right here. Then we kind of continue with the same thing. Except we do that little half step in release. And you don't really hit that nine uh, twice that time. And then that little half step bit. So it's the same thing we did the first time around. Now on the recording, this is when an overdub comes in. We continue with the neck pickup part. Right here. And that fast part comes in over it. So that fast part is actually an, an overdub that comes in. Um, so let me just show you if you wanted to know exactly what's going on in the album. After you did it, so slide up to 11, then a whole step bend release at the ninth fret. And that's when that. Well, as that sustains out, you're going to hear the, um, the the fast part come in. Now, as he play, what he does live, he obviously he doesn't do this bit live. He just rips right into the the fast part. So that's what I did at the beginning of the song. So anyway, let's get to the fast section. You're going to switch to the bridge pickup, kick in the wah pedal, and um, we have this the really quick part at the very beginning. Uh, sounds really cool. It sounds like this. All right, did you get that? All right, we'll just skip to the next part. I'm sure you got it, right? All right, so we're gonna break this down. There's actually some patterns to this, so it's not gonna be that difficult to memorize um, and get it up to speed, hopefully, after a, while, after a while. You know, you're gonna have to be kind of rocking that wah pedal the entire time as you do it. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do everything here up to that little bend there. So we're gonna start with a, the ninth fret, hit twice on the G. And 
then over to the seventh fret on the B string, hammer on the eight, pull back off the seven. Then over to the nine on the G again, and then back to that seven on the B. So we have that to start. All right, and now we start moving up. You're gonna pick the 10th fret on the B string, slide into the 12, over to eight on the high E, back to 12 on the B. And then you're gonna play 11 on the high E string, back to 12 on the B, and then 8, 11 on the, um, the high E string. So we have this. And then from there, we're gonna play the 12th fret on the high E. And this is where the kind of little pattern there. So we have this little, after we get here, we're gonna play the 12th fret, slide, into 14, then play 11, 12, 14. So we have this. And when we get to the 14, you're gonna slide up to 15. So it's kind of this. So it's the same lick done twice. So he's sliding into that 14, then go 11, 12, 14, when you get that 14, slide it up to 15, and then play 12, 14, 15. All right, so let me just get it to there. I'll play it real slow up to that port. Now, when we get to this top note, this 15th note, that's really the beginning of the next little group. Uh, no group. So I kind of like to kind of um, memorize it like that. When I get to this top note, the second time I play that 15, I start this next pattern, which uh, next group was, looks like this. Uh, that wasn't it. Hold on. All right, so that right there, so after we, just to let you know where I started from. So that second time you're playing 15 is where I'm starting here. So we have now, just go 15, 14, 12, over to 15 on the B string. So with, then you're gonna play, go back to the uh, high E string, play the 14th fret. Back to that 15th fret on the B string. So we have this. And then we have this lick. We're gonna do a quick little hammer pull from the 12th fret on the high E, hammer to 14, pull off to 12. Back to 15 on the B, and then back to that 12 on the high E. So we have this. Quick. And we're going to end this little fast section. Uh, so that's a bend at the 15th fret on the B string, whole set bend and release. Pull off to 12. And then you get, finally get to that bend on the 15th fret, which starts really that next section of the solo. So without the wah, I'll just play through everything we have so far kind of slow. So now from there, it gets a lot easier, um, a lot of just kind of really bluesy and, uh, and big bends and stuff. So it sounds like this so far uh, from this part here. All right, so I'm really trying to get every little thing that he did in that solo there, including that little... That little noise that kind of comes out of nowhere, so you probably saw that. So we're going to start with a couple of bends there at the 15th fret when we got there on the B string. 
I'll take the wah pedal off just to make it um, so you can really hear everything. So you do those bends and then you do a kind of a bend and release of the 12th fret. Pull off, uh, I'm sorry, 15th fret. Pull off to 12, over to 14 on the G. And do it all, all that again. So we have this going. Then just move up here to the 17th fret on the B string. And so when I do that whole, whole set bend there at the 17th fret on the B string, you can see how I'm, when I do that, I'm grabbing the G string um, under, uh, underneath that, that fingertip. So, so what that allows is when you hear that little in the solo, that's those, those two strings being hit together real quick. And then he goes back to just a normal bend. Bend and pick it a couple times. Release. Pull off to 15. And back to that 17. So I'm just trying to get that little noise in there. Um, just sounds like a, um, somebody honked a car horn all of a sudden in the middle of the solo. So it looks like this. Also sounds pretty cool, right? All right, next part. All right, so that is coming from the 15th fret there on the B string. After the, we're gonna go do a 15th fret bend, uh, whole set bend of the 15th on the B, over to 12 on the high E string, then. 15, 12 on the B. Now we get to the G string, and all these notes are really just between the 14th fret and the 12th fret on the G. So it goes, when we get down there, we do a whole set bend and release on the 14th fret, and then 12, then back to. So it is. So it's just. Just everything is just between those two notes. So this. A little wah pedal in there makes it sound more authentic. All right, and then we're gonna do. Uh, so these are some oblique bends. So what you're gonna be doing, he's gonna hold the uh, 15th fret on the B and the high E string in there. You're gonna hear some of that top note in there too. And then do a bend on the, uh, the 14th fret on the G string. And then hit those notes. A lot of you're gonna really hear the B. But you hear that top note in there too, the high E string. So you can kind of just bar across them. And so leaving that, he does a release the, the bend pulls off to 12, over to uh, the 14 on the, the um, D string, and then he does that again, pull off 14 to 12 on the G, and this time hit 14 a couple of times on the D string, and back to that 12, so we have this. So one more time. All right, so I'm going to start this next phrase from that note after we got the. So from this 12th fret, we have this next section that kind of builds up, does that really cool uh, picking sequence up. So there's. All right, so getting towards the end of it here. Um, so that's the bend, of, that's a vibrato at the 12th fret on the G string. And then 14, 12, 14 on the D. And then you get a pick. Now it kind of sounds like when he gets, uh, gets there, it's kind of almost like a dead note sometimes, and, and it, or it's the 14th fret there on the, at the, on the D string. 
Good. I'm gonna do a couple of quick little down up on that. So it is. And then we're gonna do that kind of hammer 12 to 14 on the G. Pull back off. Over to 14 on the D again. And then back to that 12. So we have this. So we started going through it again and we just stopped. And we got back down to that D. So, so far from that part. All right. And from there is where we do that. We start having an actual pattern that ascends through the uh, E minor pentatonic scale. So, so we're going to start with the top note. There is a, it's really a three note, four note pattern using three notes. So we have. So that's going to start with the top note being hit twice. So the first note here in this case is going to be the 12th fret on the G string. And then you're going to play just down the scale 14, 12 on the D. So he does. And then what he does is he takes that exact same pattern and moves it up through the pentatonic scale, just moving up one note at a time. So it's that's what we refer to as a sequence uh, in music. So we have we have that, and then what we're going to just do do is the exact same pattern, starting on the next note up in the scale. So that's going to be the 14th fret on the G. So remember the pattern was the first note is played twice, and then you're going to play two notes down through the scale. So it is. So from the first one, and the second one. And then now, keep going up to the scale, so the next note up would be that, uh, for just one, the E minor pentatonic, that's going to be the 12th fret there on the B string, and then play 14, 12 on the G. So that 12th fret played twice. And then the up to the next note, 15, but that played twice. Then um, 12 on the B. So far we have this. Then over to the uh, high E string. That 12 hit twice. And then 15, 12 on the B. And then the last one. That's a 15 on the, twice on the high E. 12 to 15 on the B. So that's that sequence moved all the way up. And then what we're going to do is go to, to get to the last little licks in the solo. So we have this 15, 14 on the high E to 15 on the B. And then you're, then you're going to do a quick little uh, 12, 15, hammer 15, pull back up to 12. And to that bend that starts those uh, that little rapid blues licks that he does at the end of the solo. That's the, that 15th fret bend there. So coming up all the way through it. All right. So now starting from that spot, we have this. Alright, so that is just gonna, so this, you probably played a, a lick like this before if you played any kind of blues based so, solos or any kind of slash uh, solos or Kirk Hammett or just about any rock guitarist. We have this, we do a whole set bend of the 15, then to play the 12th fret on the high E, then pull off 15 to 12 on the B string into a whole stat bend at the 14th fret on the G. So we just... And then we do the same lick again. Except now the bend at the end is going to be at the 15th fret on the B string. So we have this. So 
So you just repeat that. And then he does this huge bend at the 15th fret and release it. And then back down to 12, pull off 15 to 12. And then a bend at the 15th fret on the, uh, on the B string again. So here it is. And then back to that 12 on the high E string. 15, 12 on the B. And then the bend at the 14th fret whole set, just ending the solo here, going to grab that 15 on the B, release, 12 on the G, down to 14 on the D, and then end it with a, end it with that uh, 12th fret there on the G string. So from that, that ending there, all right, and that ends one of the greatest rock guitar solos ever created. So it is a fantastic solo. I hope you guys enjoyed the in-depth breakdown so we can play it exactly like Slash does. Um, and it just rocks. It's a lot of fun to play. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this redo of my previous solo. It's the first redo video I've ever done. It took me 10 years. All right. So I'll see you guys again soon. Bye-bye.